Welcome to this episode of YouTube where I've entitled it Creating Some Stimuli. And we always talk about winter as being a more stimulating and dominant time of the year. And here's Aiden showing a threat display over actually a cache. Uh, he was uh, chasing bolts. Uh, Grayson kind of got a little startled there as well. Uh, but that is a typical thing that we see in the winter time. But it's been added a little bit uh, by the fact that we are feeding so many resources for the pups. So there's so much more food to guard, to possess, to cache, and uh, creating a lot more opportunities for possessing things. And you can see in the backdrop on the pump housing is part of a deer head. Um, the pups are feeding on chicken. So first of all, we'd like to say thanks to the people who donate a chicken. We are so grateful to have a full complement of foods to be able to make sure that the pups get the resources they need. They've been a little particular. Sometimes it's bison, sometimes it's beef, sometimes it's chicken, and they go back and forth. Uh, but uh, having a wide variety to offer the pups to make sure that they maximize their growth is very, very important. So thanks to those of you who, who uh, donated. And again, for all the Amazon wish list donors, uh, we couldn't do it without you. We are um, grateful for all of your efforts. And here, uh, Denali is showing a little bit of that uh, Denali behavior. If he figures he can posture and intimidate, uh, maybe he can get the pup to back off and steal his food. And that is Grayson that um, has the chicken there, but it didn't work this time. It has worked before. Um, that's why I think Grayson's a little bit smaller than Axel and that Grayson does give up pretty easily. But uh, he's learning and he's getting a little bit more courage as the winter progresses here. So um, Axel is about 90 pounds. We're only weighing once a month now on their birthday on the 2nd. Um, and at that time, that was uh, January 2nd that we weighed. And uh, Grayson is still about 76 pounds. So there's a little bit of a difference between those two. And you can see it here. Axel on the left. This is Grayson with the chicken. So we are feeding on a daily basis. Um, Bolts is getting benefits from that as well. He usually was the one who didn't get as much food resources as Aiden and Denali, so he's benefiting from pups being fed as well. And we are seeing a little bit of pup uh, dominance coming from bolts, and it's my, it's primarily f on towards Axel. Um, Axel is really kind of pushing um, and testing a little bit more than Grayson. Grayson's a little bit more timid, so this is Axel going up to Denali and trying to do a standover on Denali, and. Uh, He's going to display a lot more, um, I don't call it dominance, but um, certainly a lot more testing kind of response uh, than Grayson just because of who he is. And so that's going to result in the wolves putting a little bit more focus on him to kind of um, show him his status. That's very typical. Pups kind of get to do what they want. And then as they approach this one year of age, the adults say, okay, you're no longer pups. You can start fitting into the rank order. And they start establishing a little bit of boundaries and limitations. So this is Axel doing obnoxious submission. That's Denali uh, pinning him to the ground. And uh, that's Grayson coming off the pump housing because he's not involved. He's not testing as much. So he's not really in the middle of these um, in your face, jaw sparring, obnoxious submission kind of things. Uh, Grayson is much more of a, a, respectful is a human word but um and we use it in wolf terms as well um of the of the space of those adults and that keeps him from getting some of this uh, heavy pressure that axel's been getting and doesn't stop axel at all um certainly but uh the other thing here notice that aiden comes over does a little bit of a tail posture and kind of comes up in and just walks next to denali stands there for a little bit and that's enough to really let denali know that uh things need to calm down a little bit. And so Aiden does a lot of that body posturing and um, certainly the pups benefit from it, especially Grayson. Grayson will oftentimes follow Aiden and if things get a little bit tough, um, go towards Aiden. Aiden. So uh, the stimulus that we're creating is roof shoveling. We had about probably two, almost three feet of drifted snow on the roof from previous storms and that snow causes weight. And also it can cause some ice dams and so it can actually damage the roof so we needed to get that snow off and so the contractors who do our snow removal uh, started shoveling we moved the wolves off obviously as you can tell here from this pile of snow uh, wolves would be on the roof if we didn't uh, move them out while this was going on 
So it's a safety issue for the wolves, it's a safety issue for the contractors. And uh, that snow had to be moved away from the edge of the building. First of all, the windows, you couldn't see the wolves. Second of all, like I say, they climb right up there and be on the, on the roof. And that uh, is a whole other exhibit we don't want to manage. So in order to do that, uh, we had to open up the wolf yard. So we usually only do behind the scenes uh, during the summers, and that's a couple of reasons why. First of all, you can't get behind the scenes in the wintertime because of the snow and pile, so it's uh, hard to maneuver back there. And uh, second of all, wolf dominance tends to get a little bit tense, and especially Aiden, who's not a big uh, fan of strangers, gets a little tense, and he directs, uh, redirects aggression uh, with uh, strangers in the wolf yard. So this whole scenario of snow removal can be a little contentious, and it actually was for Aiden and holding. Um, he got very agitated about being separated, he got agitated about the equipment, um, being used. It's not so much the equipment, we used Bobcats with him in the enclosure, but the fact that he was held off um, made it all that much more aggravating for him. So a lot of noise, a lot of movement, a lot of strange people in the wolf yard um, creates a little bit of tension. So. It took a couple hours, and they were probably in holding from 8.30 till almost 1 um, before that snow got moved away and got moved into piles. I mean, there's really only you know, a few places you can put it. So uh, snow is piled up behind the pump housing and uh, gives the wolves another uh, source of stimuli there. Uh, one of the things I would also uh, recommend if you're thinking about coming to Italy, great time of the year to do it. February 4th, we have actually a photographer's uh, morning on Saturday morning from 7 to 9. Otherwise, we've got a photographic weekend um, from uh, the uh, uh, that weekend, uh, the 3rd, 4th, and 5th is a photographer's weekend. And um, the following week, we have a wolf watch. So uh, great opportunities to come and watch the wolves and great piles of snow for them to be stimulated uh, by and uh, um, active. Uh, so you'll see a lot of this uh, king of the hill who gets to be on top, that type of thing. So what's nice about the snow piles is uh, uh, they're above the, the normal cover hay beds and so visually and for photography it gives you a, a nicer backdrop. Plus it gets you up and high and you're uh, looking at that back wood line as kind of a backdrop and when the sun goes down late in the afternoon you'll actually see kind of a glow when we do have sun. Uh, that um, lights up that wood light, so it makes for really great light and certainly active wolves. So like I said, if you want to check out our website or the link um, on the screen here as far as our wolf programming. We did see a little bit of redirected aggression when they got finally got back out. Uh, like I said, Aiden was very tense. He was biting at some wood panels in there, and uh, that creates a little tension there. But they settled down um, um, pretty quickly, and uh, we see the pups again enjoying that opportunity to get into a higher vantage point especially when you're the smallest member of this pack the taller you can be um, the more opportunities you have to look down on those who are bigger than you are so um, Axel here on the right um, really uses that advantage of height to maybe assert himself a little bit more as he's trying to test and that's what he does to uh, every adult wolf who comes up, that's uh, bolts coming up to him, and he does that kind of jaw sparring in your face type of thing. And l on the left, Grayson, notice the difference. Grayson's not testing, so he's not getting dominance. So that's something that maybe Axel could figure out. Uh, but uh, so, like I said, the King of the Hill is something um, worthwhile. Uh, it'll be a short lived issue as we get into March and April. It's going to obviously melt, but makes for great opportunities in February and uh, like I said this is Axel again this is what we call obnoxious submission um, he's kind of submitting but he's really not he's in your face and he's kind of jaw sparring and this is Denali perfect match for Axel they're about the same personality type and uh, will result in a little bit of a chase and Axel does not like that you can see his tail goes down into a tucked response so uh, the one thing we were watching for this winter that we really haven't seen too much is um, Bolts testing Aiden. We saw a little bit of it earlier, maybe one or two days of tension um, uh, in the last week. But for the most part, Aiden's got things under control. Bolts seeking refuge in the main den here. Uh, I, I would have expected to see a little bit more, but Aiden's pretty strong. Once we took care of 
his bladder infection, which was causing him a little bit to be down a little bit, um, he's he's doing quite well and certainly uh, um, maintaining the pack pretty well. The other thing that we see is that the pups are doing a lot of mimicry, uh, especially of Aiden. Whatever Aiden does, they do. They follow him around, and he eats snow. They eat snow, and that's how you learn, and that's how pups uh, develop skills and some of its instinctual, some of its learned behavior, and they are very good at observing and watching. So over in retirement, uh, Luna's doing quite well when uh, we would love to do body work on her every day, but it's not something that um, she always likes. But at this point, you can see the response of her tail in previous uh, years. Her tail was always kind of locked down in that straight down p posture. You can see the tail looking a lot more relaxed and a lot more kind of functional there. Um, we have to work on Luna's terms. She is here in the back habitat getting pretty excited about the exhibit pack being active. So when she's in that heightened focus, um, touching her results and, you know, her not wanting to be handled. And so she can get a little bit uh, redirected in her aggression to do that. So we have to be uh, doing everything on her terms. And that's how it is in winter and summer. Um, it's likely to uh, be a lot better. So we're happy to report that we finally um, have what we consider to be maybe a little bit of bonding between Luna and Grizzer and not so much just cohabitation. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.